Good afternoon. It's Friday the 7th of October. Um, it should be five days since I completed the London Marathon. Um, and we are on our way up to Cartmel in the Lake District um, to run the Lakes in a Day 50 mile ultra. Um, so we go up tonight, register, um, get us a uh, tracking um, thing because I'm sure the tracking device um, have a kit check and then yeah, try and get a decent night's sleep camping so I don't think it'll be uh, that good a sleep but yeah and then we're up super early tomorrow um, we're on the, on the coach at 5.45 to go to the start at Cartmel um, yeah, and then we've got to run 50 mile back to uh, the start at Colbeck and run 50 mile back to the start at Cartmill, back to the finish. Um, yeah, 4,000 metres of climbing, uh, around 12,500, 13,000 foot. Um, and I think the official route is about 52 miles. So, yeah, it's the furthest distance I've ever run. Certainly, the most elevation I've done in one run, um, but yeah, it should be a good day. So, you know, it's a 24 hour cut off. Um, obviously, I'd rather it not take 24 hours, but that's what we've got. So, I'll definitely get it done. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take my ankle up tonight, um, make sure I take the precaution that I can with that. But yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's uh, a good challenge. It's um, yeah, certainly out of my comfort zone, um, especially as it'll only be six days since I ran London Marathon um, when we set off tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, doing all this is part of my fundraising for Asthma and Lung UK. Um, I'll put a link to my just giving page in the description um so if you wouldn't mind clicking on that and uh and donating if you can um and while you're there just please make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel for more runs like this um yeah so i've got yorkshire marathon next week and that completes my three week challenge um but yeah there'll be lots more races and and things coming up over the winter and into next year. So yeah, see you all soon. So here we are in Colbert. Uh, just in the uh, inevitable toilet queue yeah, waiting for just yeah. before the start of yeah, the in a day, 50 mile ultra. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is week two of my three week challenge to raise money for us from the UK. Uh, six days after completing London Marathon, I'm here to do my first 50 mile ultra. Um, yeah, see you all in a bit. Yeah, I'm going to put a link from a just given page in the description. Um, so if you've got a couple of square, a couple of spare pounds, uh, if you wouldn't mind making a donation, uh, it's such a worthwhile charity. And uh, also give the channel a subscribe and like. Um, yeah, it really helps us out. Um, with lots more content like this coming soon. You should know where you are because you're a tracker, but we don't really want to come looking for you. So please do report to kind of an event mark. Come on over here. Right, this is what you're looking for. So you're coming in. Have a good day out there. I hope you enjoy it. Should be special, right? Five, four, three, two, one, go! Right. Run! <laughs> Enjoy the run. Okay. 
Shallow line. <laughs> if you want to go deeper, you go right. It's never more than knee depth, but yeah. It'll clean your white trainers off oh, nicely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just nice and steady. Shallowest line is literally just gone up.
that little ridge there. I know I've done it before, but yeah, yeah. I didn't see that one. Oh, sorry, fella. It's okay. That's it, no fair of them. Thank you very much. Thank you. So that's uh, our feed station one at Freckeld. Um just heading back out onto the fells now to go over at Dodds. Um yeah, tough but enjoyable.
Freezing it. <laughs> Absolutely climbing up to Fairfield last summer. Yeah, and that's where we've just come down that zigzag path from Dollar Wagon Pike. Last bit of the hill out before the head torch goes on. I'm not sure what we're getting dark. Thank you. Still white. <laughs> Don't you do that? You it <laughs> yeah, well done. Well done. Cheers. Good afternoon. So today is Sunday the 9th of October. Um yeah yesterday's lecture day was um a really tough lesson in 
how not to run a 50 miler. I um, forgot to uh, take on bargaining nutrition in the first section. Um, the first section went up Skidar, Blencaffer, um, and then down Hall fell into Frelkeld. Um, and then I, uh, for some reason, I decided that I only wanted a quick stop in Frelkeld, and um, yeah, I did. Just got a, a Tunnock's tea cake and a packet of crisps that I went. I went I, so I ate the, 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 the chocolate tea cake thing and then went to. I said, I thought I'd to myself, oh, I'll have the bag of crisps sort of walking up Clough Head. Um, yeah, that didn't happen. Um, so as I left Frailkeld, you'd quite a long section on the road to get to Clough Head um, and I just felt really really crap I just no energy uh, a really low mood and then that's when I realised that I'd had one gel since the start um, and it taken me three and a half hours to get to Frailkeld um, uh, yeah and I'd had one gel in, in you know, 40 miles of a lot of climbing, um, which obviously bit me in the ass. Um, so yeah, so as we started going up Clough Head, I just got swamped and just overtaken by everybody. Uh, I was just really slow plod, and everybody was asking me if I was all right. And yeah, they just got. I reckon maybe a hundred people passed me up Clough Head um, and that's no exaggeration the yeah it was just people were just streaming past me all the time um, and then as we got to the top of Clough Head um, it started uh, raining quite heavily um, so everybody was stopping to put the water through so I did that um, they felt alright for a little bit uh ran down the down the section off Clough Head to the bottom of the climb to Elvelin and then uh yeah just had nothing left in I just nothing in the tank. Um and I were I were making sure that I were, you know, fueling uh, religiously. Um but you know, it while we're already in that deficit, um so yeah, it was just I was trying to play catch up and it, it wasn't really working. So then going up Elvel and maybe another forty or fifty people past me. Um yeah it took from leaving Frailkeld to get to the top of Elvelin. I say you did Clough Head and then Elvelin. It took four hours eleven. Um yeah, it were uh, really tough. And then as I got to the top of Elvel, and then uh, like a freezing fog came down, um, and it immediately sent my like, chest into like a spasm. Just got really tight. Um, and my asthma just straight away just wasn't right. Uh, it took me another couple of times, but it just didn't seem to do anything. Uh, so it, it meant that it were a bit of a a very slow jog um, for a bit uh, over towards Dollar Wagon Pike. Uh, once I got out of the fog, it, it seemed to ease off a little bit. It still wasn't right, but it, it was. I could start start to run a little bit again. So I managed to get down to uh, Grisdale Town. Um, sort of, you know, fairly all right speed. Um, it was like a like step climb so um having had the experience at red pike of them being very slippery I, I sort of avoided them for a bit um when we're on the grass and stuff but it were a bit uneven and um, so anyway i tried to go down the steps and they, they were absolutely fine i had my 
uh, Terex SG on and they was just really worked for the wet rocket the, in the latelets. Um, I were, yeah, we're a little bit unsure on, on the cushioning because they're a very minimalist trail, uh, fell shoe. Um, but as it were, I had them on for 28 mile and, and they were absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, the, the grip on them were just great. Um, like coming down Halls Fell, there were loads of people struggling with the grip on the on the shoes, on the trail shoes and stuff. So yeah, I was really pleased with that. That was that the one thing that worked. <laughs> um, so yeah, then going up Fairfield uh, again, it was just... I would just applaud all the way up to the top. Um, there were quite a few more people past me. And then as I got to the top of Fairfield, there were some dead that were struggling. Um, and when I talked to them, the, the IT band had gone. Um, so I just said, Do you want some company? Um, and then just stayed with them to make sure that they were all right getting down to Ambleside because it were the descent off Fairfield. It just it just seemed to go on forever. Um, it, from the bottom of Grisdale Town up and down Fairfield, it took about sorry, I keep looking at tracker. Three hours, fifteen minutes. Um, uh, and by this point, it, it were dark, um, and it got dark just at the point where you didn't want it to get dark because it made the the very steep step drop on Fairfield which is hard enough in the daylight it were an absolute nightmare in the uh, in the dark um, but we managed it we got into Ambleside um, and at that point I were as we were coming down Fairfield I was about 95% certain that I was going to pull out Ambleside um, just because of how tight my chest was and Obviously everything else were hurting, um, but I didn't want to uh, push myself on my chest and, and end up having to, you know, call an ambulance out or whatever. Um, but anyway, got into Ambleside, um, had something to eat and, and a drink, uh, coffee and yeah, some pizza and stuff. And I thought, actually, I don't feel as bad, so. Uh, I thought right I'll push on and, and, and carry on um, and I think the only reason I did that is because of, of doing this three week challenge I think if I'd not been doing it for um, for Ask Me UK ironically um, then yeah I, I would 100% have pulled out of, uh, on both sides uh, I felt that bad um, yeah but yeah the my heart won over my head um, and I carried on. So as I left Ambleside, I managed to run for a little bit. Um, so we wrote it, we were all run, run walk, but you know, legs legs felt all right. Um, I got moving um, um, and then my chest tightened again. And I just to slow to a walk. Um, and I was fine when I was walking. But every time I broke into a jog, uh, it just tightened back up and it didn't matter how much it took me an earlier. It just didn't ease off until I, until I slowed the pace. Um, so yeah, so that was really frustrating because it got passed by a few people um, who were only walking but they were fast walking and, and I just couldn't, I just, yeah, I couldn't keep up to their pace. Um, so yeah, so about... So after Ambleside there were sort of a nice path to run along um, for a few miles um, and then you got into this like woodland bit where they were like log doing like logging work and stuff and that were just you were running through streams and um, the paths were streams half the time it was really muddy and boggy and just yeah, it just wasn't nice to win up. But there was so much climbing. I I'd thought we'd done all the climbing to be honest. And that I had it in my head that you know, we'd done all the climbing in in 
over the first first 28 mile over the mountains um, and when I looked at my watch at Ambleside we'd still almost a thousand meters of climbing left and it just that sort of like yeah blew, blew my mind um, so yeah so there were just these uphills just seemed to go on forever um, but as we came out of the woods then there were like a nice downhill road section and I managed to start running again I don't know where it came from and my chest felt better and I got into a nice rhythm and yeah I caught up to a group of lads um, and stayed with them for a bit and then we were on an uphill section and I just I walked it out and, and got away from them and yeah got into the woods and started running again and then we got to um, I don't know where it was but it was a YMCA somewhere and then we took up this really steep climb up for woods up to High Dam I think it was um, and yeah it just sapped all the energy out of me that I had got to the top and I was just spent I had nothing left in tank so from there down to um, Finsway which were the last aid station it was just the slowest walk ever um, yeah and um, yeah that was just yeah really really slow um, so the section from Ambleside to Finsway took five hours and nine minutes to go 21k it's like what how is that possible um but yeah that's just how tired i was and, and everything else and my chest and that um so yeah so at finch where i had some more food some soup and uh some hot rice pudding with jamming which was just the best thing ever um and a coffee um while I was sat in there my quads had just seized um, and I left there uh, with the four lads that, that had passed me earlier um, but within three or four hundred meters they were just gone <laughs> there was I just yeah they were just I'd all on just to keep moving with my quads um, and then all of a sudden, the, the, after maybe a mile or so, the, the, the eased off and, and I managed to pick my walking pace up. Um, so I were minding to stride it out going up hills. Coming down hills, were, were, it were, they were really sore. But going up hills, I were minding to stride it out a little bit. Um, and caught back up to the, to the lads. Um, I got within like, you know, 10 metres of the back of the group. Um, and just sort of stayed there and it was just nice knowing that somebody were around um, yeah and then yeah I stopped at one point for a pee and then yeah they were gone by then I just couldn't catch back up to them uh, yeah so I managed to sort of you know walk it out for a bit and and then again I just just got to a point where just nothing left in tank um, and then, yeah, it was just a really slow walk back back to to Cartmel, and yeah, the the last section was 11k, and it took three hours 37 minutes to do 11k. Um, so yeah, so I got in uh, I got in in 20 hours and 48 minutes. So yeah, so uh, it's like, yep, just short of 10 to 5 in mine. It's like, yeah, it was just, yeah, it was just brutal. Um, yeah, there's not more I can say. Um, I loved it, it was a great day out. Um, and I definitely think about doing it again, but I would have to. You know, put in a lot more specific training and, and just 
pay a lot more attention to uh, what my body needed, um, both fueling and and probably clothing choices as well. Because I got I got tired and and didn't like I planned on like changing my top um, into a clean one, and I just I was tired and didn't and you know regret that later on because. I was cold because my, my top was damp and you know and obviously then the temperatures dropped overnight and yeah yeah just whatever so yeah so now I've got to try and recover as best as possible before the Yorkshire Marathon in, in seven days time on the 16th um, at this moment in time I have no idea how I'm going to get around because I am broken um, but I'll do it don't matter how long it takes me to get round I'll get round um, yesterday showed me that you know as long as the as long as you're wise good then you know that's all that matters so yeah so recovery week and, and We'll see you Sunday.